Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I will talk about Fazlino. So, this is the outline of the presentation. First I will introduce you the main characteristics uh, of Fazlino and then I will uh, explain you about the license which is probably one of the most concerns that you have and then I will move into programming with blocks using Fazlino. So, you can download Fazlino in any of these two provided URLs uh, it is a multi-platform uh, software which means that you can use it uh, in Windows, Ubuntu, Mac OS but also there's an app for Android and a web page developed in HTML5. Um, it supports mm, different kind of hardware and um, that's one of the advantages of programming with blocks so it means that it's fully transparent for you uh, to program with blocks and you can use multiple hardware basically using the same instructions. It's been translated into multiple languages, as you can see here. And uh, there's a documentation and search tool. So if you right click on every instruction, there will be uh, this uh, menu there, and you can click on help, and you will see uh, the help for that instruction, which usually includes a description and uh, detailed uh, information about the inputs and how to use it and so on. You can also search for uh, specific instructions using the search utility just simply by using the keywords, introducing some keywords and then they will uh, list some of the uh, found examples and, uh, and, uh, and instructions. So every instruction uh, usually comes with a, an example or even several examples and each example has a circuit, it's uh, documenting how, how things are connected and a Fazlino code how, uh, how to uh, uh, program this example. So on the right side of the application you will see a list with categories uh, with all the kind of instructions that you have in Fazlino and uh, on each category you can click on it and usually you will find a subcategory and within the subcategory you, you can click on it and then you, you, you will have a list of specific instructions for that subcategory as you can see here uh, for instance in these in this, uh, images here. Since there are more than 300 uh, instructions, uh, maybe you're not interested in, in showing all of them, so there's a show high utility for uh, specific categories, so you can use that too. So, uh, in order to uh, verify and upload your code, you have two, uh, these two buttons, the verify and upload, Verify means that you can ch we, we check about uh, the code th that's correct and, um, and if everything is fine you will see that the compilation is, uh, has succeeded. And upload means that you have to, you are putting this code into your board so it will be executed actually in your board. But before that you, what you have to do is to select the correct processor and the correct COM port. And once you have your code uploaded using the serial utility instructions you can plot and display text, numbers and things like that or even display a graph in a plot using the serial monitor provided in Fazilino. The license uh, you can acquire it in, uh, in Robotica's Fazil store. This is a small company which has been uh, created for providing uh, educational resources specifically for the UPB mocks. Uh, the license specifically allows you to generate code for a specific and advanced instructions so if you don't have the license, some of the code won't generate it. And it is a 13-digit key that you can use on any platform, so the, 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 the license is the same for every platform, and use it in several computers. You just simply have to wait uh, five minutes between changing uh, computers. There's no shipping cost in, uh, in acquiring the license. And you have to think about that. We have expended uncountable hours uh, in, um, in, in, in de de developing and, and improving this, this software. So all this money we, we collected and, and we use it for uh, creating new examples, new projects and um, uh, so that's why we ask you for contribution. So uh, the license even you can get it for free if you purchase the materials at Robotica Fazil Store or even you can apply for a free license here in this URL you have the conditions for that but basically what we do is we ask in exchange that you help us uh, improving and disseminating Fazilino. So please you can, you can help us just uh, by translating for instance uh, some of uh, the instructions in, in, in your native language 
or documenting uh, the instructions or creating examples for that or even creating blog entries uh, about Facilino. So please, uh, we ask you for, uh, for contribution or just simply by purchasing the license or by improving the, the software uh, in this way. So once you have the license, uh, you, can, you just simply have to go to Facilino Preferences and introduce the license there, there's a field for that, you just simply have to uh, accept it and then immediately you should see that your license is active at the bottom of the software. If it fails for whatever reason, you can always try to just simply to uh, verify the license again just simply by clicking the reload button. If your license is not active, uh, your code, as I said before, won't generate for some instructions, other it, it will be fine, but for some instructions they won't generate and you will see this demo version comment in, in your code instead. So now let's explain how to program with uh, Facilino. Facilino, as you know, it's a block programming tool, it's based on Blockly. Blockly is a library developed by, by Google and Facilino inherits uh, basically the, the way to program uh, it's inherited from, uh, from the Blockly uh, library. So for instance, in most of the blocks they have what we call the previous connection and the next connection. They're used to stack one instruction after another so the instructions are executed sequentially. And then you have a different type of inputs. You have a standard input in some of the blocks. You have inline inputs as you can see there too. So they are just exactly as a one input but they are uh, inside let's say the instruction. You have a statement input. This in input allows you to put inside it more blocks using the, the, the previous and, uh, and the next connections as we described before. And uh, some instructions they have an output, just simply one output. Uh, it is important to, to mention that Facilino checks the validity of input. So if, you, if it's expecting a number, a numeric input, you have to provide the correct type of instruction. So if not, it will, it will be rejected and you can't connect them. So uh, also some instructions they have, uh, for instance, a drop, list, uh, drop down list in which you just simply configure the, the several options uh, regarding with your instructions. Some of them they have a number fields and some of them they have text fields. So all these kind of fields allow you to uh, modify somehow uh, or introduce more information uh, to your um, instruction. And finally, some uh, instructions they have a mutator. A mutator, you will recognize it with this icon there on top on the on the top left uh, corner. And once you click on it, they will be deployed in another uh, window in which you can drag and drop different options of this uh, instruction and this will modify the aspect of your actual instructions. For instance, in an if instruction you can create more cases by adding up else if instructions and by adding up a final else instruction for instance. Well, thank you very much. Uh, in this presentation I have explained you about Facilino. I hope to see you in my next presentation.